All right, in this video, uh, we're going to be working on this problem. So we're asked to find the x and y coordinates of the centroid of the shape shown below. Uh, so we've got kind of a square with a triangular cutout on one side. Uh, the square is 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters, uh, and that triangular cutout takes a centimeter off of each of the uh, sides here. So <clears throat> when we're finding this, we first need to break it down into separate shapes. Uh, and with this, the shortest strategy is going to be to break this down into two shapes. So we have one shape that's actually going to be this overall square that was originally two centimeters by two centimeters, and we're going to cut off one corner. So this is a, a cutout um, here. Uh, so shape one is going to be the overall square, and shape two is this triangular cutout over here. So shape one is a positive shape that's going to be a positive area. Shape two is a cutout that's going to be a negative area. And so the next step in all of this, we're going to create a, uh, a table of values. And we need a table uh, that includes, for each one of these two shapes, the area, the x-coordinate for the centroid of the shape, and the y-coordinate of the centroid of the shape. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got the shape. the area, the x-coordinate of the centroid, and the y-coordinate of the centroid. And we've got shape 1, which is the square, and shape 2, which is the triangular cutout. All right. So <clears throat> let's look at the area first. So the area of the overall square uh, is going to be, the original square is 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. So 2 times 2 uh, is going to give us 4 centimeters squared. And then for the triangular cutout, uh, it's going to be 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. So 1 centimeter is the base, 1 centimeter is the height, 1 half base times height. Uh, so 1 half times 1 times 1. Uh, the triangular cutout has an area of 0.5 centimeters squared. And again, that's going to be negative because it's a cutout. All right, next we need to look at the coordinates of the centroid. So for our centroid of the square, um, we can kind of guess, we can look at our table, and you should be able to see something similar to this. So one half of the way along the base, uh, at and one half of the way along the height uh, is going to be the center of my square. Uh, so the center of my square is going to be one half of two centimeters, so one, up, uh, one over this way, and then one half of the height, one centimeter this way. Oh, it's also important to note I am taking all of my dimensions relative to my origin point, which is over here. So one centimeter this way, one centimeter up, that's going to be my, or, my uh, centroid point uh, for the square. So it's going to be one centimeter and one centimeter. All right, next thing we need to look at is our triangular cutout. So this one's a little more complicated. Uh, we know that from the right, the right angle side, uh, a third of the way up the height, a third of the way in the base. Um, so. <clears throat> From this side over here, I go a third of the way along the base. So this is going to be one centimeter right here. So I go one third of a centimeter this way. Uh, and that gives me an overall length. Uh, if I went two centimeters out and then I go back one third of a centimeter, uh, that gives me a total of five thirds of a centimeter. And that's the distance. So my centroid point is right there. Uh, that's the distance from here up to that point there. I do something similar with the y-coordinate. Uh, so again, it's going to be one-third of the height from the right triangle side. So I'm actually going down one-third of the height. Uh, and you know, I start at two centimeters out, and I go down one-third of the height. The height of this triangle is one centimeter. So two centimeters minus one-third of a centimeter uh, gives me, again, 
five thirds of a centimeter. All right, let's push that aside for a second. We've got our table, uh, and this is going to be important for the setup of the problem. So the x bar total, this is the overall x coordinate of our centroid, uh, is going to be equal to the area, so area 1 times x1 plus area 2 times x2. Let's do 4 times 1 plus negative 0.5 times 5 thirds. And I divide by the overall area. So the overall area is 4 minus 0.5. We're just 3.5 centimeters squared. So if I uh, solve these numbers, uh, 4 minus 0.5 times 5 thirds over 3.5, uh, I'm going to end up with an x-bar value of about 0 0.90 centimeters. All right, let's do the same thing for the y. So y-bar total, the y-coordinate of the centroid, is going to be uh, area 1 times y-bar 1 plus area 2 times y-bar 2. So it's basically the same numbers. 4 times 1 plus negative 0.5 times 5 thirds. Divide that by the overall area of 3.5 centimeters squared, and I get a y bar value of 0 0.90 centimeters. So that's x bar and that's y bar. If I go back to my original diagram to get to the centroid of this, of this center shape, so let me move one up there, I would go 0.9 centimeters out this way and then 0.9 centimeters up. And so that is going to be the that is going to be the location of my centroid, uh, and I've gotten drawn on my original problem diagram. So I've solved my problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.